Beyonce yeah. featuring Shakira, beautiful liar. Beyonce jumped down on you. <laughs> she jumped down. Oh, she was like on a windowsill. Right. We was in Vegas. She said, oh, come on, I'm talking to her. She jumped down. She was like, oh, oh. and I'm like, wait, what is she doing? That stuff, that's <laughs> me and Jay-Z stuff. This ain't got nothing to do with you, girl. Don't come so on. So Hope wasn't there? It, me, I'm talking to Jay. You're talking, talking to Jay. Jay. As soon as I talked to Jay, she jumped down, came over. I said, oh, shit, look at this. Man 50 Cent's been on fire lately. It's like he's about to shake up the whole entertainment scene. Fans are hype saying when he hits up Shay's podcast, it's going to be crazy. He's got some serious dirt on these celebs and people are going nuts over it. And guess who's next on his hit list? None. Other than Queen Ba herself, yeah, 50's got some beef not just with Jay-Z, but with his better half too. Now we all get why he might have bones to pick with Jay, what with all those rumors flying around about his shady dealings but beyond she's always been this untouchable icon in the public eye or so we thought let's get into her relationship with jay-z first and later we'll see just how difficult their relationship was to maintain intact for such a long time not much details about how they first met beyond spilled the beans that had happened when she was just 18 picture this they're sitting next to each other other on a plane both at the 2000 mtv spring break music festival jay-z even dropped a rep Errands to that moment in one of his songs in the song, Everything is Love, he sings We Played It Cool at the Pool of the Cancun VMA Confidence You Exude, Make the Fool Stay Away Fate Had Me Sitting Next to You on the Plane, and I knew straight away so maybe it was a bit of love at first sight, but hold up, they didn't spill the relationship tea until four years later, at the EMTV Video Music Awards, maybe they waited those four years to let Beyonce age a bit before making it public cues some folks side eye. The fact that Jay-Z got involved with her when she was 18, and he's a solid 12 years older while their 12-year age gap might not be such a big deal for many couples, the fact that they first met when she was a fresh 18-year-old, and he was 30 puts a pretty hefty weird stamp on their relationship age stuff aside, some folks have been pointing out the power dynamics right from the get-go B ones, was already a big deal, but Jay-Z was this industry heavyweight with way more power and influence this mix-up. Age and power has got people questioning how consensual and ethical their relationship was at the start. All right, fast forward a bit after four years of public dating in 2008, bomb secret wedding, Ceremony we didn't even know they were engaged, let alone tying the knot, and as much as we. Love, a perfect love story reality is a bit messier. You've probably heard the scoop Jay-Z is famous for cheating on Beyonce they've both been clear about it, and it's a rough chapter, but let's rewind and talk about how we. All found out cause, it's a real heartbreaker, so a few months before the big day Jay was down in Miami shooting a commercial and apparently crossed paths with an up and coming -ing rapper named Olivia McFaller model chicks like me, Olivia spilled the beans in an interview sharing that she was on set. Hanging with her sis when Jay decided to pull up his chair next to hers, they had a chat and then he bounced later on one of Jay's bodyguards, approached Olivia telling her that Jay wanted her number class. I move right well. Olivia thought it was a bit immature and out of respect for Beyonce she turned down the number exchange, but wait the story doesn't end there. They reportedly bumped into each other again at New in Miami. This time Olivia was with her crew, and Jay was rolling with his friends. Including Beyonce's sister Solange, according to to Olivia, they both ditched their tables and had a rendezvous in a private corridor where they finally swapped numbers Olivia spilled the details revealing that Solange walked right past and kind of caught the whole scene Olivia said that on the day that she and Jay exchanged numbers at New in Miami Solange, came walking up out of nowhere Olivia thought she was about to get her butt beat, so she backed off quickly Solange has been guarding her sister. Day one Beyonce doesn't even have to say anything L is a beast according to Olivia. And not just her you all saw a 50 cents reaction when Bay came at him these sisters are not to be messed with Solange. As ready to beat Olivia's behind when she got off that elevator and saw Jay and her talking Jay saw Solange, and then he rushed and sent Olivia to his bodyguard to exchange numbers with him the bodyguard's name was Norman, he gave Olivia a phone number, which was apparently an extra phone number for. Girls to call Solange was a big reason why Olivia left Jay-Z alone now, 
It seems like Beyonce had something to say about it all in one of her tracks titled Resentment. She threw some vibes about the situation. Ion singing, I know she was attracted, but I was here first been riding with you for six years. Why did I deserve to be treated this way by you? I know you're probably thinking what's up with B. I used to be so strong. But now you took my soul, but guess what? Nothing major came out of the whole mess and... Olivia tried to make the most of the scandal by dropping a song called Sorry Mrs. Carter. She wrote your man he likes model chicks. He likes all naturally flawless model chicks like me. As for her rap career. Well, it didn't exactly take off and Olivia faded into the background. Then in 2012, Blue Ivy comes into the scene and two years later, it's trouble in paradise after that infamous elevator showdown between Solange and Jay-Z. Lots of folks thought the whole drama hinted at Jay possibly stepping. Out on Beyonce in the footage, you see Solange going off on the rapper hitting and kicking him, while what looks like a security guy tries to keep her in check at one time Beyonce steps in to play referee between. Her husband and sister things got so heated that when they hopped in the elevator, it went from zero to 100 real quick. It's a pretty intense moment. Ten days after the incident, the trio released a joint statement addressing the drama. But let's be real, we've seen family spats, but nothing quite. Like this did anybody else witness family drama that hit this level, so by 2016, Beyonce's fans were already getting the vibe that something's up in her and Jay-Z's world, especially after that elevator drama that N comes the bombshell Beyonce drops her album Lemonade now, two songs hold up and sorry start pointing fingers at Jay-Z, for possibly straying she's throwing lines like he only wants me when I'm not there. He better call Becky with the good hair. Oh boy, the Bive went into detective mode trying to figure out who this Becky was. Turns out it's more of a name for all the women in general. Not just one specific person rumors about Beyond and Jay-Z's rocky marriage had been swirling since 2014 and the gossip. Kept going strong in 2015 and 2016. Then bam, we get this album with all these lyrics and it's like a spotlight on the cracks in their relationship enter Rachel Roy the ex-wife of Jay-Z's former friend and business partner Damon Dash posting stuff on Instagram that had people thinking it was a nod to Beyonce. She said, good hair, don't care, but we will take good lighting for selfies or self-truth. And just like that, people went on the attack thinking she's the infamous Becky Beyonce fans flooded her. Oceals with bee and lemon emojis. And let's just say you don't want to be on the wrong side when it comes to the beehive. Rachel was definitely feeling the heat. It's like walking into the lion den with that crowd. So at one point, Beyonce seriously thought about calling it quits when she found found out about Jay-Z's affair. But they somehow managed to work through it now. Hold on to your hats because there's a former bodyguard, Uncle Ron, who's gone all out on TikTok dropping some wild allegations about but the power couple Uncle Ron used to be a bodyguard for a bunch of celebs, and there are some pics floating around of him with Beyonce. But the details on their personal relationship are a bit hazy anyhow. He's making some bold claims like saying Jay-Z's and Beyonce secretly schemed to mess up rant. B artist Carrie Hilson career after she said something about Queen Bay. Then he hits with a bombshell he's claiming Jay-Z's been controlling Beyonce for years saying the relationship is more business than romance.